You're saying I'm not likable? Definitely not. <laughs> You're great. When you tell me what's really important to you, I believe. Just talk to everybody like you're talking to your wife. <laughs> That's why I'm so likable. That's why. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to dial up the wires again. Here you go. All right. You must poke me in the face. If I was going to poke you in the face... Boop! <laughs> what? Beat you to it. Jeez. So what's going on? What happened last time on The Wire? Do you remember? D'Angelo's back. No, D'Angelo no, is not back. Dead. There's no zombies in this dead. show. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong cousin. His uncle. Whatever. Uncle Avon got out of prison. Avon is back. Yep. He's jumping right back in the game, too. And he's taking a gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Stringer's trying to, you know, keep it, keep him on the business classy, side of things. And he's and like, no, he's I need my corners back. Keep it gangster. Meanwhile, McNulty's like, I'm sticking on Stringer. And at the very end, he got to call them. Yeah. To call in Lieutenant Daniels and say, hey, I need some help in my district. Exactly. You got bodies dropping. What are you doing? <laughs> we well, literally we, just started. We need apples and cheese. You need apples and cheese? Mm hmm. Doesn't look like it. Hey, you remember how I said no apples before bed because it ruts your teeth? Oh, we gotta go. Okay. Well, I always brush my teeth. You brush your teeth this morning. Brush your teeth now, and I'll get you an apple. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, Lieutenant Daniels is going to have to head on back and... Uh, to help out Colvin's <laughs> how situation. Was his next interaction with McDulty going to go? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. You think he's going to know that... Well, McNulty told Colvin not to mention his name. But Gotta you think be. he's going to know yeah. he went around, around... How him. could you not? It was Kima's idea, though. It was. Because he came asking for... Yeah, but for they're help. like a pair right now. Yeah. And Kima's like, well, if you're so buddy buddies with Colvin <laughs> and he needs <laughs> Do help... Do something about Looking it. at all the stuff we're interested in looking at. Yeah. So what's next? I, you know, shenanigans. You think Marlo and uh, the Marlo beef is going, going to the mattresses this, this month? Yeah. This week? Definitely. Yeah. Should we jump in and find out? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for The Wire. Yeah, check our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Want commentary, access to polls, up so people who watch text. It's on there. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram, so if you like social media, you can follow us. And if you don't, don't worry about it. That's right. Let's watch The Wire. Here we go. After she gets some apples and cheese. Apples it is. Still trying to get him to go to Hamsterdam, huh? Rule where we stand. Oh, who's watching him? On all corners over these parts. Likely because we've been dropping bodies. Barksdale. How about his avenue corners? Oh, he give up quick, didn't he? He's plotting his scheme. Herc, you gonna recognize him? Yeah. Yeah, Avon, what's his face? Big player from the projects. He's the target on that detail I worked a couple of years back. The one I told you about? No. He's finally starting to put pieces together. Maybe I got the years wrong. My point is, guy's an asshole. Locked him up as well. He's the guy you gotta be watching out for, Herc. What? What? God damn it. <laughs> Got a booger hanging out of my nose or something? I don't think so. Stop! <laughs> Conscience do cost. Butchie. Who's Butchie? There's apparently more in the belt for West Side Corners. What about Kintel Williamson? That case is on hold for now. On hold? <laughs> 
And we send the case to grand jury, and then we start up this West Side case. Otherwise, we wasted more than two Change months on this. Change the target. The audience wouldn't know what you guys are talking about because we've only seen them once. Wolf, day after 90 degree day, dodging swarms of cicadas and shit. But damn, this is fucked up. <laughs> and all the assets work I did on Kintel. His cars, his cash flow. Just put that in a drawer. We didn't see any of that shit. Nope. The only time we saw Kintel was when he voted with Stringer at that meeting at the Hyatt. McNulty. In my office. <laughs> oh boy. Downtown Hilton, Thursday before last. Who rented the room? Mm hmm. Address, credit card details, whatever you can pull. I guess it was the Hilton, not the Hyatt, huh? Mm -hmm. What about one of them social worker types? I hooked up with one dude. He was cool, but I wasn't ready. You look like you're ready now. Cuddy's working hard. Now I'm asking you for the truth. You went to Colvin, buying my back. I'd have gone to the devil himself. Which way you were standing, Lieutenant, had not a fucking thing to do with it. You piece of shit. <laughs> But, now we're back on the right man. Just feel those eyes stabbing him. <laughs> he will screw over anybody in order to get what he wants. When the cuffs go on Stringer, you need to find a new home. <laughs> How many seasons of The Wire are there? Five. We're literally halfway through the show. Hmm. We need another 60 more in a couple days. 60 more? You know how we do, so don't be crying, Bernard. What I miss? I think it was just uh, showing that Stringer Bell's Making second money. hand is the one that's running the cash right. now. Stringer's out of that part. Starting next week, I want you to pull one card of service in the quiet post in every sector. Now take those nine guys. Can use them and double up on the high crime posts. If we handle less of it, we ought to do better with the crime we got. Right? All right. Hamsterdam seems to be working, huh? Seems to me one phone is as good as the next. Only a fool drive all over the world when there ain't no need. His job is just go around and buy track phones from different stores in the... Yeah, but he says I'm going to leave your ass in Baltimore. He seems like he's from out of town. He's outside of Baltimore buying track phones uh. to take back to Baltimore. Oh, okay. Nobody from the mayor's office called you regarding this problem of witnesses getting killed? You go, yeah. But all he said was I should try not to have any more witnesses get killed. Mayor didn't say a word to me. Thanks. Isn't that... I'm wondering if that's the money Colvin was asking for for that house. To buy that old lady. No. Because he was talking about witness protection when he was trying to get the money from the, his superior for it. Yeah, no, I don't think they're connected. Get us one good phone. We'll give you the network. That's the good news. What's the bad? Yeah, what does the network mean if you don't know who's a part of it? Yeah. You can't listen to any of it. Oh, they're in Quantico. I think he's supposed to be buying 60 of them. 30 different... 60 of them. 60 so thir phone. Yeah, 30 different locations. Avon's home, so we tooling up. You ain't the only one on parole. You by my last good nerve. Uh, he's one of Marlo's guys. No. We just saw him talking to Stringer Bell's money guy. Oh, okay, I was out of the room at that point. <sighs> Sorry. Keep up. He used the phrase tooling up, which is what Marlo said to... I think it's probably just a common phrase. Yeah. How do you remember all of the phone numbers you need to remember if you keep changing phone numbers? They probably save them in the phone, actually, since they're throwing them away. It's her son, right? Man, she got a right to know what's going on. He's getting nervous. I just... You just what? Sorry! Any red flags from his aggressive defensiveness there? <laughs> you want to know that you're better, that you deserve his chair. If I lie down on this couch, do you charge by the hour? 
A man doesn't run for office without being a bit self-righteous first. Self-righteous? Me? <laughs> Tommy, no one's gonna remember a dead witness a year from now. Better if you go to Royce. Give him a chance to explain or maybe take action. If he does do something, then a problem got fixed and you can feel special for helping. If he doesn't, you sit tight. Win-win. Unless you're the witness. I know. <laughs> What's the likelihood of another witness getting killed? Probably pretty good. <laughs> Bitch, everything I say you get backwards. Hmm. Receipts? Just throwing yeah. the receipts away? She was being very snoopy. I got them, uh... I got them. I got them keys. is getting a little uh, freaked like, what out the about how it's happening here. <laughs> turn into Gotham City on this block. Yeah. I'm looking to buy candles and toilet paper for the shit bucket too. Are you back in them all? Condoms and toilet paper. There's opportunity here if you're the traveling salesman. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Soldier's paradise, man. He's on the edge. He's gonna be dead soon. Stay out of that house, Bubbles. Don't do it, Bubs. Yeah, walk away. Good job, Bubs. Oh, she wasted. <laughs> I miss us. Do not blame that baby. I didn't have as much to say about it as you. You need to go. To go? Uh, it's like a breakup word there. Mm. Nobody woke up the baby. It's not like he woke up by himself, right? Happens. Babies see that. Yeah. They weren't being loud. That sucks. What do you need lookouts and runners for if the shit is legal? A lot of them have been cut loose by the dealers. It's like one of those nature shows. You mess with the environment, some species get fucked out of their habitat. Did you just use the word habitat in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> I was just surprised you used a sentence. Say what? If you want to sling in Amsterdam after today, you and every other knucklehead, you each got a kick in a hundred a week. Oh, so you're trying to get paid, huh? Not me. Not for me. Get the cash up, I'll be back. I mean, pay the kids or send them back to school. Incentivize them to go back to school. Yeah. He's very particular about his pin board. Be like you if you made a pin board. <laughs> Gotta be symmetric. I'd just be sticking shit up there. That's why you never solved the murder. <laughs> I solved all the murders. What? Yeah, man, the fat man gave me an itch I can't scratch, Butch. Oh, there, that's Butch. Blind Butch. Took a knife to his little finger, then his ring finger. For the rest of his life, I remember him saying, the bitch wasn't worth more than a pancake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, but a little something less dramatical. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Bunk's uh, little talk he had with Omar got to him. If the cops are saying her son might not be a suicide, Brianna's gonna hear this out regardless. I suppose Avon should know about it though. <laughs> yeah, but I'll handle that. As in, he's not going to find out about it. At least until these knuckles roll up off some of these corners. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I know McNutty's plan. They're going to swap a phone with a dead one already. Hmm. Oh, they bought him a basketball hoop. Give him something to do besides just beat each other up. Now they'll fight when they lose basketball games, though. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. At least y'all can do is look after your own people a little bit. What are you, a fucking communist? It's <laughs> right around the corner from here. That was going on. No, it's McNutty calling in the... No, he was just responding. Oh. No. You are not on your game tonight. Man, this is some fucking bullshit. You're some fucking liars, man. Carl, will you please tell me what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Car? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Calvin would tell McNatty. Yeah. But that's Calvin's call, not Carver's. <laughs> I told him that already. He said 1500 for his trouble. And the cop's pistol. This Does he pop, have it? I think I think that's what that is. I'm guessing that'll make him feel better about the whole yeah, he's shooting a, thing. He's solving a, yeah. a big deal for him. So mm -hmm. kind of like evens his beef with what's his butt, the cop. How about we make one more stop? You get six of them shit, and I suck your dick for the next twenty minutes. It's compelling. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Must be a tradition. Get caught napping and they cut your tie. Let me get some of the track phones activated. Eight of them bitches. Eight. Now they're gonna take a closer look and he's gonna get <laughs> hassled for it. But I gotta ask you. You legalize drugs. Look, this is a tactical deployment. We just wait for everything to get settled down here in these three zones, and then we move. Look, we make a big show locking everybody up, and then we shut it down. McNutty's McNutty really... had sex with a prostitute last season, <laughs> so he's not against breaking the rules here. Uh, he's really processing this whole thing, though. He's just in there. He hasn't said a word. Whenever you bust this place up, they'll go back to their same corners. Besides, you and Emma Munch are making a big show. Just said a word, Jimmy. It's just back to usual. I'm out the door on the pension anyway. Yeah, it's his last hurrah. I need to be able to rely on you and your people to keep this close. The bosses don't know, huh? <laughs> Fuck the bosses. You owe him a favor after him going to Daniels, too. You tell him for me. I'm hoping he might need this in court someday. <laughs> Omar's court tie. Mm hmm Avon ain't here now. You got muscle. Don't worry about that, little man. <laughs> Poot doesn't seem so sure about that. Yeah. Ain't no fixing it. It's fixed pretty good, I think. Dang. She's still cutting her coupons. <laughs> what kind of business? Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee? <laughs> it's cutting, right? No, oh, man. Dennis. Dropping the street name. Where is that exactly? I'm not real familiar with that part of it. It's not going to end up being the girl you slept with two episodes ago, is it? Mm hmm. Police? Baltimore? Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> He's in like DC or something, right? Yeah. This ain't my kind of crowd. Definitely not. Yeah, well, I made a mistake, so I'm gonna go. 428? Give me two hours, McNulty? What am I gonna do for two hours? Dream on. Oh, he was just trying to find her. I don't think he was following a lead there. Duh. Okay. <laughs> my God. I thought he was trying to figure you out where either the phones came from or that hotel room came from. <laughs> no. It was her hotel room. He oh, had him run her, her hotel okay. room. Yeah, now I got it. <laughs> oh, my God. The hotel room they stayed at that one yes. night. Okay. You were just off tonight. Check this out. 
This is the pattern of a closed communication network, something you'd expect from a drug organization. And none of them list subscriber information. You can do that? And with these burners, with this particular company, you don't need subscriber information. He receives calls and initiates interactions. He coordinates the show. I see if that was Stringer. Now, this is the best part. It's something that Prez discovered when he was playing with it. It has a speed dial feature. <laughs> <laughs> well, it took the time to program the phone. Hell, that's probably the only way these corner boys can remember all the numbers. Exactly. What? They're dumping phones every couple of weeks on average. By the time you get a wire up on that, the phones are dead. The whole network shuts down. Simon speed James. dials are connected to individuals. There's speed dials to all their re the re-up guy. They speed dial one is a certain person. Speed dial two is a certain person. It doesn't matter what phone number they have. They're always speed dial number two, right? Smell like six. You can take a fucking shower. I'm late for work. Oh. About to kill them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think she hit anybody. Sure didn't look like it. Or did she? Oh, shit. Oh, she didn't hit Pit, though. Yeah. Missed him. Um, Avon. Avon Barksdale? Oh, Jesus, her. He said Jessup. Now for four or five at least. What, we all look alike to you? If you don't believe me, then fuck it. No fucking way. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Commissioner Burrell, I just want to take this opportunity to commend our department on successfully resolving this case. And to wish Officer Dozerman a speedy return to duty. Looks like he's still hurting. You gotta see this. Big joke. Memory of Geraldine Peroni, ed yep. editor, colleague, and friend. Well. All right. Oh, the special detail. Just found out the news. Avon's home. Mm -hmm. So what's on your mind after that episode? Uh, just that they were pretty late to the game, just like you this entire episode. <laughs> yeah, I, was the, I was on the up. same page as you, all of them. You could not keep up with what was behind. happening. <laughs> so you're, you're Herc in this, this scenario? Way ahead of everybody, just can't remember their names? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's just can't <laughs> yeah. ever remember any of those names. All right. What is Marlo up to? He he, he like, wanted them. He wanted to back off so that he knew that the only people on the corner were down. Avon's people, and that he could just take them out easily. Yeah. Right? Shoot, shooting like fish, fish and barrel. fish in a barrel. Yeah. Luckily, that girl only hit one of them because yeah, she, she was, was a horrible shot. She emptied that clip on that corner and only got one guy. <sighs> that poot was done for, and I saw that blood. Yeah. But, oh man. So yeah, he fired back. So what does Avon do next? In regards to Marlo. Oh, he's going to try and go look, after him, I'm sure. Look out for motorcycles. I would doubt they would attack the same way again, though. Right? No. I They'd be ready for a motorcycle. I think they're just going to maybe be proactive and try and go find him. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, Bunk got his gun back. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Omar. Omar. Do you think Omar actually found it? No, no, no. He paid somebody for it. Butchie, Butchie found had it. a contact that somebody knew, and Omar paid him for it. Oh, okay. And then Omar took credit for finding it. Hmm. Well, he didn't necessarily take credit for finding it. He was just giving it to him. Yeah. Well, the tie there was there to make it make Bunk realize that okay, this is from Omar. Yeah. So, okay. So, what does the special detail do now that they know Avon's out? Because he's the actual guy that they're that's going to be running things from here on out. He's going to now have to be on the board. Yeah. Hmm. I'm back on the board. Yeah. You know, Stringer is worried about. The whole D'Angelo scenario. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Do you think Avon's ever going to find out about that? Definitely. It's going to come out. Yeah. Well, let's watch the next episode. No other thoughts? No. Ready to watch some more? Absolutely. Let's watch more of The Wire. Let's do it. Some ice on his nuts. Tried and true. That shit always bring a...
Go back. What's wrong with that guy? Ice on his nuts? Must have got mm, hit in the nuts. Y'all want some slamming ice? Go inside, tell my man what feet sent you. All the resellers are down there. Ask me if it's loaded, bitch. Oh, dang. What's going on? Set up. We got a hostage situation over here. God damn! Can't you ever get a fucking police round in when you need one? <laughs> How are they supposed to know you're tied up in there? <laughs> that was pretty fast response time, all things considering. What were they tying those guys up for? Just so they <laughs> just weren't selling drugs them? in the area? Just to steal them, I think. Just, just to, to rob them. Maybe just to oh, rob them? Because they were the money takers. Oh. So they just robbing them. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if Omar was doing that. I almost thought it was Omar. Probably was. It's a very Robin Hood thing to do, so. Mm -hmm. Crawl, walk, and then run. Clay Davis. The good old senator. They sent it to Buddy's Mondo Mart at 1440 Propane Road, Falls Church, Virginia. That's where it went out into the street. What? Did Buddy have them on display to the left or the right of the cash register? <laughs> <laughs> It's going to matter now that that kid bought eight of them in one place. No, he used to say, you're getting his useless details. Get to the point. At uh, Springfield, Dumfries, and Lakeside. Don't forget Quantico. Yeah, bro. Those are birds, Sherman. How? Okay. I'll show you. Oh, you're going to show them? To serve and protect, motherfuckers. Call it poetic injustice. I want to file a report. Say what? You heard me. You're here doing illegal things. You took your money? Fuck yes. <laughs> Just because it's permitted doesn't mean it's legal. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean someone's not out to get you, right? It'd be nice to know who's buying all those cell phones, though. Oh, looks like we're staking out the Mondo's shop. Throw them some bikes, maybe police radios. You know, we could do that. I was being... You serious? <laughs> In God's name, did you do it? Uh -oh. He's like, oops. <laughs> Shouldn't have told him. Being judged. I'm gonna go 100 miles on the off chance this guy has a memory or a camera. Do you really want to go home early and disappoint Mr. Freeman? <laughs> or if it's been 10 days, just wait for. Come back. Yeah. Shit, I forgot I even tried to press that thing. Now she's calling up asking questions. Wasted her time, but it wasn't mine. Watch them walk in right as they're leaving. Oh. Congratulations. You are now minority contractor for light bulb supply to the Board of Education, City of Baltimore. <laughs> what the fuck I know about light bulbs, man? <laughs> See how it worked? I'm gonna bring you along, Strang, but it ain't gonna be an overnight thing. We should all know how to put in a light bulb, right? <laughs> And the eyes, he had little beanie eyes. You haven't seen what the fuck is beanie eyes? <laughs> little red eyes? Yeah, all right. Yo, put them over on that. <laughs> Make his ears stick out. Why? Because I told you to. Give him light eyes. Why? Because I fucking told you to. <laughs> okay. Can you make him cross? <laughs> this is fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whose face is he making? Brother, I'm telling you, fuck this shit. What this is all about. Look, I'm just trying to make my district live. House of Cards is starting to crumble here. They ain't no worse off than when he was all over the map. Now they just in one place is all. And that place is hell. It's okay. I can't find my little care bear. You're what? Your little care bear. <coughs> you better take your baby to bed. It looks tired. Yeah, your baby looks so sleepy. You better take her to bed. Well, I'm taking her to bed. 
Hey yo, make your head a little bit more straight. Make it long with bangs. <laughs> About. Now Chinese up the miles like Beyonce. Get those cheekbones up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, you got one of these dust asses? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple of track phones. A week or so back. Black guy, most likely. Oh, sure, that guy. Every two weeks for him. Last time, eight phones, almost $900. That's a lot of ring dings, no? Ring dings? A joke. Ratings, their phones. <laughs> Transaction record. Yeah, I just needed to find the small business owner. Not the chain. Keep this. Yeah. The hell are you going to do with the re receipt for cash? Oh, maybe it's got the tr phone tracking numbers on it? Get a local to do it for you. Need you guys to stake out this this shop until you see this guy show up and buy phones. What in surrendering? Well, that depends on who you surrendering to. Uh, yeah, God. Duh. <laughs> because this kind of variation screams manipulation to me. And if I'm wrong about that, if indeed there is no manipulation involved, I would like to know exactly what it is that Major Colvin has learned about police work that eludes the rest of your commanders. So get your numbers down. But if your numbers are down, you're probably cheating. So... <laughs> it was too sudden of a change. You can play the good soldier if you want, Commissioner. But I want to go on the record here and saying that this administration has passed the buck time and again and fail to protect those citizens who demonstrate that kind of commitment and put their lives and livelihood at risk. She's like, this guy's an idiot. I can't work with him. Miserably. I mean, we need to do something about this. They were making their political stand there to make it look like they were gonna run for mayor. Kids messed up the little. Now they got one that looks like the original peach basket. And they're hanging on to it like a tit. Hands. Boxer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boxer. Gonna set up a boxing gym? Could be. You liked those guys. You were happy to think that they even liked you. You're saying I'm not likable? Definitely not. <laughs> well, his wife better like him. Cameras. You're great. When you tell me what's really important to you, I believe. Just talk to everybody like you're talking to your wife. <laughs> That's why I'm so likable. That's why. <laughs> That's the least of it. Whole damn town's gonna hell in a handbasket. And guess who's running the show? Who? Who do you think? They're not all so bad. Actually, it's a lot of good ones. I'm on the radio if you need me. <laughs> he, he, Misread that one. He's tried to play the race card. Did it work? Caroline. Some very good ones. <laughs> he's married to her. You know, you should meet my partner. You, you'd uh, you'd like her. <laughs> oh boy! Bring your black partner in. <laughs> you feel me? You sure you want us on Marlon or Omar both? I mean, Omar ain't come back on us since we got his bitch. So maybe. Look, I'm home, Charles. I'm home. He's trying to make his home safe. He's got to watch his back from Brother Mazzone, too, though. Mm. <laughs> no, it was them that duct taped those guys. Every afternoon, come 3 o'clock, they go in there, crowd him at the counter, boost all the car and gun magazines. Now, anytime I have a real problem. I just come to Bob and pull this tape. I can get a copy of that for you in the morning. <laughs> He's not open right now. <laughs> You're, uh, Your partner's a partner. racist. A bit of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit I, of an asshole. That's nothing new to her. <laughs> They're going to have something to talk about on the drive home. Yeah. 
She was playing a card he did not read quite right, you know? All I'm saying is let's give the guy the same backup he's always given us. That's all I'm saying. Finally being a good sergeant there. Mm. Hey, I spent half my marriage in rooms like this. How could you do it? It was easy. Just tell her I was on the road working on extradition. Lots of extraditions. Brought back something like 500 fugitives in a three-year period, I think. <laughs> so, you're back in the house, huh? Ate some shit and she took me back, yeah. <laughs> you just keep your cell off, make sure she can reach your partner. The partner tells her Kima's in court or whatever. The partner calls you in the motel, gives you the heads up. You call her back later like, hey, what's up? Bunk the wingman. Ain't even got a porter box for magic fingers. Maybe you don't need a porter box for that. For what? Magic fingers. Is he hitting on her? I don't know. You hustling? Educating. <laughs> Let's double it. Nah, man. I don't like taking money from a church going man. Triple it. Your break, Deacon. <laughs> About the shark, that guy. <laughs> when I first met that fat man, he had an office so small you had to leave the room to change your mind. And two years ago, he started running with your man, Clay Davis. Look at you now, you big sassy bitch. Year three. It's so tiny. No mere mortal can. Oh. <laughs> you see what he just did? He did it again. Who is this man? Can anybody stop him? Please don't hurt us, please. Sometimes you still scare me, you know that? Because <laughs> of how big of a dork he is. Now when I say I'm ready, you best believe it. So he's just gonna start running. Yeah, no crawling or walking. Amazing. Crime is down, and no one wants to take any credit. What is wrong with this picture? You don't mind if I have planning and research pull all your CC numbers? Make sure there's not a decimal point missing between the one and the two? Pull everything, deputy. That number will stand. You're not going to give up how he's doing it yet? Look, I'm just sorry I brought this whole mess up to begin with, because frankly, no one's going to do shit about it anyhow. Whoever killed him wanted to pass it off as a suicide, and the cops are happy enough to have one less murder to investigate. On top of that, the Anne Arundel State's attorney doesn't give a fuck. I kind of liked your son, you know? Why not come to me first? Honestly? I was looking for somebody who cared about the kid. I mean, like I said, you were the one who made him take the years, right? That's a low blow. Well, there's not really any other way to give her that kind of news than the low blower, because she's going to take the blame regardless. He's just saying everything she knows. Hey, yo, this some kind of full tilt setup, man, to catch a master scoundrel, Capone and whatnot. Boy, they probably got police by every one of them row house windows. You must be tripping. Home, James. Omar seen the end of the road for that place. Yeah, that he's like, going on eh, right now. that's a setup if I've ever seen one. Isn't she the girl they were creating the witness thing? Yeah. It does kind of look like her, huh? <laughs> does he do? Couldn't tell you. Drug outreach, condoms, HIV testing. Y'all ain't never gonna reach more people in the same spot. So if the city doesn't know about it, then that makes it complicated. <laughs> this is why he has a Suburban. That was nice. <laughs> Nobody's there but my grandma. 
get us a real bad. Take some time with it. Tomorrow's gonna catch some feelings here. <laughs> How romantic. You think they'd also switch up rental agencies? Maybe the guy felt bad for us. No, they were renting the car? Come oh. on. Damn, girl, would you lose some weight? Excuse me. It's just a compliment. <laughs> He's a cutie. Yeah. Still has the same smile. Mm hmm. I mean, we sit and we wait, right? I think Omar's gonna visit his grandma next. You kill Omar's nana, he's probably gonna be like. Oh, yeah. Ugh. No holds barred. They're bringing the National Guard. Mm. I'll be there. Like five. Find me five. I, I, I don't truck CP time. Five and change, I'm gone. I know you later. All right, then. See you then. Is he just super paranoid, you think? What you think about that? Yeah. yeah. She probably is working for da um, Avon? Avon. Yo, we at war right now, sis, so we on that. I need to get with him. Oh, boy. Cops shouldn't mess with a mother's pain like that. No one should. Mm -mm. Do you think she suspects anything? Like the stringer? Good thing. This clown ass went and got four sounds and four souls, man. You heard me? Cool. Is that Avon's Ford? Mm-hmm. Two minutes, we on to something. So she was a plant. Oh, boy. Is shit about to go down? Mm-hmm. Slow. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. You hit. No. Drive, motherfucker. Get out of here. Avon's in that car. Uh, who'd they get? I'll be in touch, partner. He is jumping in the deep end, whatever that is. We finna get back to old times, baby. Took a little slug off the chest there. Her own buckshot. Was he worried about getting reprimanded, you think? I don't think he's just having a crisis of conscience, right? Yeah. Like, he wants to do something else and he's doing it. What he's told. Not hard enough for this right here. And maybe, just maybe, not smart enough for them out there. Not hard enough. Indiscriminate, I ain't hard enough. Huh? Because I think before I snatch a life, I ain't in this bullshit. Not hard enough for the streets, but not smart enough for the. Oh, that's rude. Is he about to confess? Yeah, I don't know. Man stoking a head saying that uh, D'Angelo's death is no suicide. Yeah, so? Man ain't wrong about that. What? No, you couldn't do it. But there you go, a life that had to be snatched, Avon. Oh, shit. Shit off you, put it on me, man, because that motherfucker was out of pocket with that shit. Twenty. That motherfucker would have taken down the whole fucking show starting with you, killer. He's probably not wrong. No, he's absolutely right. Is Avon be able to forgive him for that, though? Hard to say. Yikes.
That was intense. Last uh, 20 minutes there. Yeah. Whew. Oh, man. I think uh, the big test for that relationship there is if Avon tells Brianna. Well, it's either going to be... He's Brianna... either going to be mad and try to kill him, or he's just going to respect that he did what he did do, for... Man. Well, I'm just saying, Brianna's going to eventually get to Avon and talk to him about it, and depending on how Avon talks to her. Yeah, well, I guess we'll know. Yeah, where yeah. his alliance is, right? Yeah. If he'll tell her... I, he can't tell Brianna the truth, because she won't forgive. A mother would never, never forgive. Right, it's one or the other. So yeah. he's either going to tell her the truth, and... Uh, they'll deal with Stringer. And Stringer will be dealt with, or he's, he's, he's going to... side with his... Uh, yeah. His friend. Yeah. Over his sister, though. Ooh. It's tough. Man, that is tough. Where would you lean? I would never be in that predicament. I mean, where, where, where are you leaning, though? Where do you think Avon would I think lean? he's going to side with Stringer. I think so? Even though they're not getting along very well right now. Yeah. Because they're going in two different directions. Yeah, he's going. I think, he did pro- I think Avon just probably won't do it because he won't want to break Brianna's heart again. Yeah. Well, she's already kind of heartbroken because she, she's realizing the truth. It would be it so. again. Man. A sister. like She doesn't think it's Stringer that did it. She thinks it's Avon that did it. She thinks it's know. Avon that set it up, probably. I don't, I don't know if she thinks Avon. Avon I think is she's the head so of long. that crew. So if anybody set up a murder the way that th- <coughs> that, that one was set up, it would have been Avon that did it. So he, she wants confirmation from Avon's mouth he did not kill D'Angelo or he did not have D'Angelo killed yeah. hmm. she's not going to hear it from anyone else because she doesn't care because he is the head of that crew yeah. is she Avon's older sister yeah Yeah. I feel like Avon might side with Brianna on this don't know you'll have to watch to find out Yeah. oh boy shit Marlo that grand had Avon with the grand scheme to get Marlo mm-hmm. in that bar little bait but marlo's sniffing it out like I that extra was, cautious yeah yeah holy well. cow just because she was so easy to get in the in the car you think mm-hmm. it was like this is way too easy yeah way too easy a game i wonder how they knew uh they never really showed how they found out what bar marlo likes to go to they knew that you thought they'd probably just plan a hit for when he left the bar but long con long con Avon wanted to do it personal. He was there. You're not going to have your security with you when you're boning somebody. No. Well, just that one guy. He was standing around. Right. He was watching the car rock back and forth. Well, what do you think is going to hap- happen to Hamsterdam? They got all the public health and mm-hmm. social workers in there doing volunteer time and putting some good resources to work. Yep. Yep. But it seems like a house of cards ready to tumble. Definitely. Especially with all the cops working it or just like in this moral dilemma of Keeping up the, sh- the charade trade. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. It'll fall at some point. Does it fall before or after Colvin tells his superiors what he's been doing to lower crime in his district? Uh, probably after. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll get to his retirement it, It'll happen point after he like, goes. Here's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Lays him on the glasses, walking out the, exactly. the police department and says, I'm out of here. Yep. You Good deal luck. with it. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. All right. Well. Next week. Do you think Cuddy's gym's going to work out? Yeah. Not Cuddy. Dennis. Dennis, he's yeah. He's no longer Cuddy. Yep, no. He's going to make it happen. Yeah. He's determined. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes of The Wire? What was the... Uh, there was a lot of dramatic dialogues this episode. We got McNulty and Brianna talking it out. Avon and Stringer going at it. Which dialogue from these last two episodes... Is the most intense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for two more episodes. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, fun commentary, access to polls, up to people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.